Okay, folks. It's time. For a coconut run. Our mission. Build a vehicle that can transport coconuts to the coconut shredder. Get rid of these tips. So they're making my head spin. Let's see. All oh, right. The drive system is in the wrong position. Whoops. Let's see if we can show tips for this one because let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Rias are roughly the same size. Should work out. I believe that these, uh, let's see here. Yep. All right. There we go. Well, oh, oh, oh dear. Hmm. We might be in need of a certain degree of editing here.
Well, half of them arrived, right? Hmm. Hey, Mallow Tree, please don't be like that. Let's see what we need here. It's, of course, a lid. We can put a lid on top here so that we don't have to worry about the coconuts falling out. Just contain the coconuts. My lid idea did not quite work out. And we lost all of our coconuts. Maybe what we need is an extra wheel in the bell. I'm sure that will help. Before anyone asks, no, I'm never going to treat this game seriously. Similar results, apparently. Okay. Let us improve our coconut container. And turn this into what is essentially an amphora on wheels. It's cheating, but hey. Hey, it even tossed them all out. We were too fast. Uh, rather too slow. We're not fast enough. So let's do this. We need to lower this thing slightly so that we don't get stuck. Make it roughly about that high instead. See how fast we can drive. Whoa! Coconut lost! Coconut lost! Let's see, we'll, ba we'll basically test how fast this thing can go without losing any coconuts, because it seems that if we go as fast as we want to, then that doesn't really work. We need to be super careful when driving. We went a little bit too fast. But drafts are the center wheel is our stabilizing wheel. Alright. Let's get rid of it and we'll see what happens. Thank you. 
Okay. Let's see here. Can't add those too closely, so let's add them inside instead. <laughs> I fell over. Crab, sir, stop complaining about my wheels. The wheels are perfect. That thing that I come there we go. Time to get a low rider this shit. And get stuck on terrain because we don't have a third wheel. Hmm. Alright, screw it. Let us learn from history, I was about to say. I think tank has assigned a tank. Come on, make your little silly belly. There we go. <laughs> Release the coconuts. It seems that our wheels are not entirely agreeing with each other here. Also, I encounter the problem in actually navigating coconuts. Well done. Catapults! Ah. Okay, so maybe we actually need to, you know, have this free floating and make things attach instead. Jeez, game, jeez. Way to take the fun out of everything.
There we go. Truck one is now complete. Truck one is a bit front heavy. Damn it, we've lost one coconut. Was close. That part is clearly not attached. There we go. She is capturing all the coconuts inside. Uh. That you can just go crazy. One hundred percent. There we go. Game one. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Now that we've done that, it's time to build whatever the fuck we want. We have completed the main objective, we're now entering free mode. Here's what I'm thinking. Actually, hold on, let's do this a little bit. See how My flatmate is sneakily looking in the room, wondering what the hell is he up to. I'm doing science, damn it. I ah, wants one of my chocolate bars. Well, go ahead, flatmate. See, here's my plan. Basically... We'll use this machine to launch them. Uh, oh, wait. Darn it. It's not allowed, apparently. I want to find a way to hang this thing from the ceiling instead. Okay. Let's see. 
like so. This isn't working quite as I expected to, but this is actually a really good idea, I realize. Clearly you did not understand what my intentions were. Just connect this like so. Get some coconuts. <laughs> well, um, it seems that we've gotten a bit stuck here. Right, let's rework this idea a bit. Make sure that this thing is. There we go. No, kill those or come back. Delivered! Might actually be better to just get rid of those wheels entirely, I realize. Just drag this fucking thing. Maybe if we add spikes like this, that we get a bit more grip. That should work, right? Machine, what are you doing? Okay, I think we launched a coconut across the stage. Maybe that actually landed in it. I don't know. Well, the claw is a dismal failure.
So next up, let's try this. The Dragon Tank. It actually goes more forward when I press back than when I press forward. That's sort of interesting. I think Dragon Tank has promise here, but it probably needs bigger wheels. I wonder what happens if you actually make wheels that extend past the... Uh, Level area. Oh, hey. There we go. Erp. Erp. Come on, Dragon Tank, don't do this. Oh, there we go. Dragon Tank is away. Dragon is too fat. It was worth a shot. Not quite, huh? Okay, let's try something a little more advanced. Like that you can actually build outside the available area. Yes, yeah, sure, go for it. So this, as you might imagine, is the Model A. The Model A has fallen apart. That's okay. We can just. <sighs> I said we can just go ahead anyway. Perhaps the Model A needs some repairs. Hmm. 
There we go. Come on, Monday, you can do it. Monday is too tired. All right, we need a bigger wheel. Problem solved. Or perhaps a new problem encountered. <laughs> I think that the Monday needs some sort of spotter here that actually keeps the wheel on the right side. Otherwise things are going to be very, very tricky. That instead apparently just captured the wheel completely. Well done. This is Coconut Run, sure. In which it is our scientific mission to move coconuts. Let's make the wheel something like this, maybe, and we'll attach it slightly higher up. That way it should not be able to get stuck under the vehicle. Hmm. Probably going to have to lower that side. As we continuously get stuck here, that doesn't really help us, does it? Let's try something like that. That rear wheel is really starting to get on my nerves. Let's just completely get rid of that, see if that works out. Then I realized what I just did was essentially build a tractor. A tractor that has trouble getting loose. There we go. I think it is time to completely abandon the Model A project. Here's my next plan. To make sure that these are actually attached to one another. By forming the receptacle, like a coconut, will make the coconuts feel more at home. That way they will be more likely to remain inside. And to ensure full mobility, we will give it 360 degree road capability. They call it the model baby. As it turns out, Model Baby was more of an abortion than anything. Wow, that was holy shit. <clears throat> Mistakes were made. Let's see here. Is 
It's not all that easy to tell if things are actually attached or not. It's weird. There we go. Is anyone willing to actually come into a call or something and help me with this th thing? I'm having some trouble realizing the ideas brought up in the stream chats. Okay, so apparently four people just volunteered. So, yeah. Yes, those people feel free to cooperate to actually make it happen. Time for a drag racer. By drag, I definitely mean drag, holy shit. Hello. Hello. My drag the eraser didn't work. <laughs> Jolly good. I wonder what happens Hello. if you actually build a car. Let's try that. That's what I'm... You need to make a pickup truck. I pickup tried that, truck. though. Oh. It did not work very well at all. Feel free to experiment. I added a link. You need to make a thing. Don't say. Yes. You have to attach that thing to the other thing. Obviously. That's a brilliant idea. Why have I not thought of this before? You can you can check by where I'm pointing with my finger, you know that thing to the other thing. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, thanks. Good show. Glad to be of help. Uh, yeah, of now help. now get out. Yeah. Uh, now I can leave. Go go <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> You've done your part. Now get the fuck out. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna try and do is make a box and put wheels on it. Go for it. A box with wheels. That what? will never work. That sounds like nonsense. I know. Right? Maybe. That sounds stupid, man. Getting the right size on this thing is really tricky. I realize that you should technically start with the wheels first, normally, but... That's not how I operate. Oh my god, I just discovered something amazing. Uh. You can make two machines and run them independently. Yeah. Yeah. There was oh, one dude wow. that actually made a functioning train, and he put a certain number of coconuts in each train car. It was pretty great. I think... Oh, hey, I found a way to make a stable wheels, by the way. Yeah, well, I've made a smart car. <laughs> the problem is that the smart car gets stuck. Just like a it's real not smart, very smart car. <laughs> oh, whoa, that was neat. I need better ground clearance, I think. Right, so it made it in 12 seconds with all coconuts. Yeah, so this uh, design is a good idea for uh, wheels, if you want them to be stable. I don't, though. Stable wheels are bullshit. Yeah, we've already beaten the game, technically. Now it's yeah. just the fun stuff. Now it's just general stupidity. Uh, Elkiri wants a cat, ca cat car. Whoa! <laughs> Better. I need some. I need a counterweight here. I think. I need ballast. Whoa! I will be making a cat. Not yet. First, the smart car has to reach its goal. Whoa! 
Smart car. Treading. Oh my god. Why hasn't anybody started making car seats out of coconuts yet? This is amazing. Did you know that shredding coconut fiber to make comfortable car seats is not just a game, but one of the I ingenious just, uh, yeah. Let me tell you about science. I'm blinding everyone with science. Oh, this wheel is too big. Whoops. Have you tried Beep. making a tank yet? The problem is that getting that many small wheels and roughly the same size into a line is sort of tricky. Have you managed to make a roll cage yet? Because that Whoa. seems to be possible. <laughs> <laughs> There's some fun stuff you can do with Smart that. car! Oh, you're just bad at driving. Well, yeah. the coconuts that safe, at least. So ah! Get back! Oh no! Stupid car! Fuck! Full speed ahead. I already messed up, to begin with. Because the thing doesn't fit on the screen. Yeah! Oh yeah. Yep. I have built a design that as long as you just hold right, it arrives in 12 seconds and delivers all the coconuts. Well, no. shit. The Whoops. smart car yep. is the future. The power of stable wheels. But of course it is. Alright, time to make a cat. Alright. Release the coconuts! Oh no, I got stuck! Failed. Oh, I got loose again. Also, the first wheel isn't working. <laughs> it's a failure! No! There are some amazing ways to just mess this up. This is great. This is horrible. Alright, I'm gonna just add more connection points. Because that's how you fix these things. Yes, just add more junk to it, they'll fix it. Yes! Fucking hell. No, get out of my way. Ah! The thing is in the way. Can you, like, move? I don't know. <coughs> you just add more of these connecting bits, and it's all fine. I have made a very fat cat. Don't forget the whiskers. Yes. Here we go, we added a tail. Aww, oh, what a lovely cat. Alright, okay, car, you can do this! Whee! It's okay, I guess. I built the hot rods! Whee! <laughs> this is horrible! But, I can do it almost new! Fuck! Alright, this is kinda bad. But yeah. at least it looks cool. Yeah, I know, right? That's what's important. <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> The Meow Mobile will take the world by storm. Oh, yeah, hey, just Meow Beal. There you go. Meow Beal, yes. Everybody loves cats. No! Wheel, <coughs> come back! This bit no, is... Wheel, no! That one little bit of wheel that I forgot to delete apparently became the one that you actually have control over, so it just drove off on its own. I'm pretty sure it's actually designed to have any sort of rogue wheels take full control. The cat is too lazy, it cannot move. I still have a lovely, lovely bike. All you need is a bike! Hold you! Ah! Oh, whoops. Plan not was not quite the success you expected. Well, I can get there, but it takes uh, about 18 minutes, uh, seconds, <laughs> or minutes, yes. <laughs> room, Not the room, best. Room, room, room. Oh, 18 seconds, 96 percent. All right, complete failure. I'm da, giving da, up. Da, da, da. It's too difficult for me. Your poor Estonian mind simply cannot handle this shit. No. Nope, not at all. <clears throat> We are not a people of designers. What this game really needs is uh, rocket boosters. Yeah, I know, right? Yes. Oh, Catmobile. It's go. Here we go. And the whisk goes. No, Catmobile. <laughs> no. It just keeps happening, doesn't it? It keeps happening. At the exact same point every time. <laughs> it might be because the front is ridiculously heavy. 
just need to add some butt to your cat. Just add a ridiculously heavy tail. Go yeah. down. I will make the tail out Built of spheres. Jesus built my hot rod. There we go. Mine's uh, what you really should do, though, is make it s somehow be able to move, like add a bunch of springs in there, so the damn thing wiggles around. Cat nuts. Oh, the cat already has coconuts. Lots of them. <laughs> this is <Everything>. nuts. <coughs> right. Uh, it's yeah. caught a mouse in its mouth. <laughs> A right. rolling bounce. One of those mechanical mice. <laughs> no, cat, no. Just add more connectors. Everything is wonderful then. No! That mouse. <laughs> mouse was, that mouse was our downfall. Wow, you. Sort of got the right idea, I guess. <laughs> Let's put whiskers on this guy, and then we I put told you, no whiskers. Cat is not happy. <laughs> Rolling starts. <laughs> <laughs> this is cat. Uh, why? <laughs> this looks like a bad idea. Oh, the tail got stuck, I think. Yep. Off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gats are not good for transporting things? Who has dunk it? Alright. There I goes my... Man, my there goes my idea for a Formula 1 team. My mine does a very good job at, uh, at transporting <laughs> socks. Just make the tail lower. Like, go down. Like those... Bonk. Oh! We have learned basically that cats are terrible. <laughs> so let's make a snake instead. You fool. Only if you make it wobbly. Snakes don't even have wheels. You cannot you make know. a rigid snake. That have, is just have wrong. You have, have you ever turned a snake over and checked? Uh, yeah. Why I've handled a lot that? of snakes in my time. Wow, you pervert. <laughs> One time I caught two snakes and put the snakes in a cooler together and one of the snakes ate the other snake. I'm sorry. Monster. Snakes are ruthless. <laughs> was it really the snakes or was it you? I did not eat a snake. You ate the remaining snake. That's how it worked. Snakes are, snakes are probably kind of tasty. Yeah, yeah they are. Snakes are great food. Mm -hmm. But only if you make them fight at first. And wouldn't they be just like super lean though? Well, that's the thing. It's literally a long piece of almost fat tree meat. They're great. Yeah. It's like eel, basically. It's land eel. Oh, I fucking love eel. Yeah, I know, I right? Get on that. Eels. Landy. <laughs> when I go to a sushi restaurant, I order every item that contains eel. <laughs> All of them. What a wonderful name for it. Here's my land eel. Here's my water snake. Well, water snakes are real things. Oh, yes. That messes it up. There are even sea snakes, and those things are real cool. Aren't how... those, those very dangerous, though? I'm going to post a picture in the chat. No! Link removed! Failure! Yeah, you need to go to a different chat. Oh, fucker. Failing like that, jeez. But where? File, I'm gonna add it in uh, Arthur's regular stream channel. Here we go. Snake is go. Though it's more of a centipede, technically. <laughs> a centipede on wheels, sure. On roller there skates, you I go. guess. <laughs> that makes well, that well. ended quickly. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's too... I'm it's thinking weird. there are the some problem. flaws with the design. Just yeah, you should connect some there. of the solid uh, rectangle bits with shocks, so that they're, or at least like put wheels between them or some such. 
circle. I don't know. And the link is in the other chat. Hooray. Maybe you should just make like a railgun to shoot the coconuts yep. over. Ah. That works. Have you successfully catapulted into a Maori yet? Uh, almost got one over, but it bounced back. What is this? The wheel. It, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the wheel is really good at sending coconuts spinning all over the place. That would work if you put some more weight on the back. Actually, yeah, just make sort of a coconut cannon by using wheels as a sort of gun-like structure. <laughs> just put a series of wheels, like a, you know, like how some roller coasters work. I'm pretty sure that's not how wheel counts work, but sure. What well, real gun, but instead of magnets, it's wheels. <laughs> yes, that's... Yeah, make it like those um, tennis yes. practice machines. Yeah, that's like those. <laughs> I was trying to think of some kind of object that used that mechanism. All I could think of was roller coasters. Well, they also used in roller coasters, I guess. Yes. I've never been on a roller coaster. We wheels are just the old type of magnets. Hmm? No roller coaster for you. No. Roller coaster. Wheels are primitive magnets, sure. Why not? Exactly. This is wheel punk. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're replacing all wheel things with magnet things. Right, this wheelbarrow idea was actually pretty great. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> give, this, give this thing a front wheel and we have the perfect vehicle, more or less. Jeez. <laughs> well, the thing is, it doesn't have any weight to push now. When you put coconuts in, it's gonna, it ain't going anywhere. Oh, you just, little face. Just give it a bigger wheel. It'll work. <laughs> so maybe if we, like, connect it like so. Do I, you need to connect it go. to something. What? Oh, wow. That's you know? Connect it to the ground? You're <laughs> <laughs> gaming the system. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the wheels are... You need to press back. This looks like the weirdest coffee machine ever. <laughs> oh no! The cannon is falling apart. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, the thing is, you haven't attached the shocks. It's not very... You know, it's just going to transfer the moment momentum to the shocks instead of pushing the nuts. That's nuts. Well, the biggest problem is you haven't really stabilized all the parts. So they just sort of fall into one another. Mm -hmm. You see, Arthur, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, then my the opposite universe. reaction is pushing shit around that aren't coconuts. You don't want that. There we go. We'll put a big arrow here so that it knows where it's supposed to go. You put a lime in the cup. Except that's into the ground. <laughs> it's roughly the right direction, damn it. Stop shit talking, my brilliant design. You're just envious that I'm the Porsche of the 21st century. Oh, so you only have one design that yes. you reuse endlessly? Yes. So yes, the <laughs> Porsche. And it also, of and it also has Coke terrible ground it. clearance, so it gets stuck when it tries to go over hills. <laughs> Porsche? Yeah, it's... Oh, I was making fun. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it's not just you Europeans have a different word. That happens. Porsche! That's what it is, damn it. Porsche. Porsche. I think okay. we call it Porsche so it sounds more masculine. Because we're really insecure about Porsches in general. Oh dear. Like if you, drive a Porsche, you mean that then you that uh, Slavic uh, food Borscht? Yes. No. It's like that. It's very tasty. Just like that. <laughs> Let's Porsche. 
Let's not go over the top here and actually claim that <laughs> borscht is a tasty dish, please. What? Excuse me. I <laughs> made borscht once, it was good. I think it's pretty good. Tasted like Just beef. as soon as I google what it really is, because I can't remember. Then again, I'm a big fan of beets. Ah yes, it's that thing. Of course, it's lovely. They're nature's candy, you know. Borscht is good stuff. I've been known to eat, like, an entire can of pickled beets. Beets are good, yeah. I like beets. Beets by Dr. Dre. He's going beets to roll it, it's from the world. Uh, you mean those headsets everybody's wearing these days? No, no, the the root vegetables. Yeah. Like... He's going into that business. Right. I thought it was so funny when I came up with that one day. <laughs> then, like, a minute later, I'm like, you know what? There's probably, like, ten instances of that joke on the internet already. 50,000 photoshops. That is yeah. kind of how it goes, really. Whereas before, I could have just been content, and nobody would have known. Just you hung on like... to that joke yourself. Yeah. Know that you're like... go, man, I'm so happy. Beats are back on the menu, boys. You may want to reconsider your design. <laughs> as long as I can get going, it's going to be great. Also, somehow the rear wheel has ended up inside the vehicle. Whee! It works. It works <laughs> brilliantly, in fact. Just add Whoa. more struts Whoa. to it. There you go. All the struts. Yeah. All the struts. What? <laughs> add all the struts. It's beautiful. Well, how did the wheel uh, end up inside? I... It's physics, just don't don't question it. It's a tiny design flaw. Yeah. It, it's what happens when you start building yeah, apparently in stuff the, inside solid matter. At the, in the first jump, it just goes, nope. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, it's a uh, cheap uh, physics okay. engine is what it comes down to. I can actually explain this, but I won't really bore you with it. Whee! You see, it's made of quantum materials that can... Exist and not exist at the same Pace time. <laughs> just, just Pace pistol. through different dimensions. Well, the idea of something goes so fast, it just goes clean through something is pretty entertaining. You see, it's capable of separating itself and going through the, the empty space between atoms. Now you see it vibrates so fast uh -huh. that it just vibrates straight through what I learned solid from, matter. What I learned from Captain Larry Future Larry. is that if you just zoom in with your microscope far enough, you get so close that you can look through the area between the atoms and then you can see what's on the other side. Oh, to be fair, most of atoms is just empty space. Yeah, so, you know, I'm saying. We yeah. need to utilize that. We need to utilize that empty space. Yes, let's let's super compress everything. I'm sure it'll be fine. If anyone yeah. complains, call them a luddite. That's the problem. That me slash you are both geniuses. This design is wonderful. Too oh. big to fail. Too big to That's fail. That's the solution <laughs> to overpopulation. Oh no! Who would have expected that? And more straps. <laughs> super compress everybody's atoms. <laughs> so there's more space on Earth. Super compress everyone's Adam's apples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's androgynous. a start, I suppose. I can we need to make that. everybody androg un androgynous. Yep. Androgynous. Androgynous. We need to make add everyone more drag straps. on. Or struts. Just add tons of them. Come on. Oh. Add like eight to each wheel. No. You don't need one, you need more than one. No. One cannot hold it. Is that all of them? <laughs> no. Oh, you've got like three co oh wait, no, you fell over. <laughs> put two tiny put two tiny wheels like at the opening. Yeah, the my, the my opening. plan right now is basically to make it so that this thing has self writing capability. Just like on Robot Wars. Yep. That is where I learned all my engineering, watching this Robot Wars. Right Man, Robot Wars. That really is a shame they don't show that anymore. I think it's mainly because people broke the system by gaming it so hard. 
Like, yeah, like, it's... like before the super heavyweight division was a thing and people just built these ridiculous, stupid 160 kilogram robots covered in titanium that were literally impossible to move. And hey, guess what? I win. Yeah, it's sort of what happens when you don't really consider the system. But then, it's suppose it's near impossible to make a bulletproof system. Yeah. Just put a soup, like a super dense gun turret that's immovable. <laughs> I think one of the few original rules was actually it has to be able to move on its own, so you can't get away well, with that. Just a gigantic block of titanium. <laughs> with a tiny control unit inside. It has right. to be able to move, just have a single move arm it. that can move. <laughs> oh, hey, apparently I've caught a coconut inside the, the wheelbase now, so it's endlessly spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Keep it up. The pachinko machine is go. <laughs> if you could do a controlled situation of that, that would be pretty neat. Just okay. So first, thing, it seems that it actually drives better upside down. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, yes. <laughs> what a surprise! Now, now imagine if instead of a giant wheel there in the middle, there were coconuts. You see how that design would work? My God! See. <laughs> If you made a design, which was... Well, well you know, until you hit uh, a bump at which point, you know. A bump in the log. Actually, have we even seen the example card? No. No, well. Boring. We don't need no examples. <sighs> Who? Forgot? No, you fool. It'll be fine. I love you too. I love you. Yes. Of course. So well. You do realize it's gonna topple immediately. No, <laughs> if I just balance it just right. Ah! <laughs> you can't balance it just right. Drag the coconuts, damn it! You could make a coconut pusher, I suppose. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right, I was set up. Yeah. <laughs> Coconuts, too powerful. It when it's upside down, it looks like a little man hopping along. Someone called Travis touchdown. Actually, that's a brilliant idea. A mech, a coconut transporting mech. No, we will simply ask man to help us. Yeah. <laughs> but Travis never... touchdown is not a man. Just have a d joke solution where you can actually get a bunch of laborers to just yeah. bring the coconuts instead. He has to hold his arms out like this. Catch the coconuts. <laughs> the hand of God. Yeah, it's Your cart is missing wheels. Well, okay, fine, I'll add one. Who the fuck needs wheels, man? That's kind of an arbitrary restriction. Yeah. I mean, in most cases, if if you don't have wheels, it's apparent that it's not going to work. But if somebody can come up with a design that doesn't need wheels, you should let them. That'd be cool. So it's time for uh, wheel. It's time for wheel man. It's too much. Man is too fat. But it. But man at least needs it to carries lose a bit of coconuts. Weight. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, just add more wheels. I'm sure that'll give you more traction. <laughs> the, the design a, is sound, damn it. Put, cook, uh, put a wheel behind his butt and head, and it should be fine. A tiny wheel on his heel. So. I just realized that's supposed to be a man lying down. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think it was? Uh, just random garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I see, okay. Well, let me tell you this much. You Wonderful. go to that dumpster right now and you call the cops. <laughs> uh, suppose if you look at it sideways, it sort of looks like a really weird hand. It, yeah, actually, I thought it was like a claw. But... The claw! So, so little appreciation for Arthur's art. <laughs> <laughs> yes, art. Have art. you made just a? Have you made a cock and balls yet? 
Come on, just oh, this right. transcends pure reality. Well, clearly, clearly this is a dong mobile. We sort of started out with it. We need a slight oh. deviation, but that would be pretty damn close, actually. What we need, I think. Why? Why indeed? It's a, a man. It's, it's a comfortable bed wheel. for them to ride then. All, all real men have wheels these days. That doesn't look like a very comfortable pillow. It's super comfy. Shut up. Right. You know <laughs> nothing. The Swedish Tempur-Pedic system? Yep. <laughs> yeah. This is what it's actually like. You know nothing, John Stone. <laughs> it's so modernist. <laughs> it's you people don't even know. Well, you know, less is more and all that. Also make everything out of concrete because, you know, Brutalism is the best. Brutalism is what. Oh my god. Brutalism is so mainstream. <laughs> so oh, you hipster. Now we just... <laughs> <laughs> this is... The coconuts have gotten too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> they refuse to proceed any further. Maybe. Make a W. Yes. A W. W mobile. W mobile. Or a double V. If you come from a dumb country. Yeah, like Estonia. Double V. Or France. Double B. Oh, Stupid countries. A list by body. <laughs> yeah. France. So. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't forget about the Greek eye. What are you even doing here? <laughs> I'm just oh, not seeing it. Oh, you poor fools. If you only you knew. I'm actually not entirely sure myself, I just had an idea. Make a ballista. Yes, make it large, that will solve everything. Here's, <laughs> my, here's my idea, basically, a lance. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> no. Charge! So that looks amazing. That, that is actually whoa. surprisingly effective. Wow. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> I basically just need to it work was... on the rear bit a bit. <laughs> I would say, like, make it kind of curve over it rather yeah, than just. Yeah, make sort of a hook, sort of, at the end, instead of just a straight line. Surprising results. Also, remember to attach everything because some of this is gonna fall apart yeah. otherwise. This game is kind of finicky about that. Of course, there is the problem you get stuck. Oh, I think I lost the coconuts. <laughs> nah, you're fine. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> well, that was, yeah. that was pretty good, actually. <clears throat> oh, you lost five coconuts somewhere. Yeah, I think it's that they were not technically on the vehicle when the vehicle reached the delivery point. Ah, uh -huh. maybe. Why need baby gate? Maybe you should just have less power because it seems like you're just less power. Long. Less. What are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? He's wilding out. He's going, going off those ramps like a bat out of hell. More power! That's the entire point I was about to say. You just no. wait. Arthur wait. is slowly turning into Jeremy Clarkson. More power! I've right. been more of a Hammond fan, seriously. Alright, here's... What's <laughs> more? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not good enough. But you got. It's because your vehicle was destroyed before the coconuts got there. Keep this design, but replace the wheels with squares so it stays on the ground, and then put wheels <laughs> all along, like the top bit, so you have the catapult. Thing. Along the <laughs> along the lens. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> I think that basically what I need to do is just hit the brakes real hard, just as I arrive, to toss all the coconuts down in there. As long as I do that, we should be fine. Going too fast. Yeah, Great. you already lost a couple of them. 
This game is clearly not agreeing with my design. <laughs> well. <laughs> I like that you're also breaking the saw machine. Just cannot handle this bigger car. So that's if you stop here like so, like... Better. We need some sort of... Basically the problem is all the load is at the back. Mm. Reverse the design. <laughs> I don't know. That per per wouldn't work, it would just... Yeah, I know, because the momentum pushes it. It would just leave the area without the coconuts. Which, I suppose, is one way of measuring success. Can you make a hinged roof? Um, you can try, but it's yeah, pretty it's, hard. it's entirely possible, yeah. It is, however, ridiculously tricky to get working. You know what, let's load up the example card and see what it looks like. Because you do not actually get a you hinge. You need some inspiration? Here's a super advanced card for you. Oh, boring. Oh, wow, yeah, we didn't come up oh with my that God. at all. Hey. This, is, this is the first thing you did. Such oh ingenuity. Oh! It's not the good same. for speed. Uh-huh. The shitty it's cart shit. sucks. Clearly, <laughs> this is the most <laughs> clever design ever. No. You're supposed to build upon that, I believe. It's a horrible butt. Build upon that by increasing the wheel size tenfold. Actually, that's a brilliant idea. Let's bring up the example card. Get rid of these little, tiny little baby wheels. I wonder if it's exactly. possible to make like a slinky car or something. <laughs> well, you just refuse to use connectors, I guess. Just only use cables the whole way. It's time to go rolling, 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 rolling. Wheels of steel. <laughs> 18 wheels of steel, one might say. Mars rover away! Oh jeez! Oh, this is, a, this is a monster truck. Oh hey, this worked brilliantly. You can <laughs> you can lock the coconuts inside to a switch. Yeah, yeah. Seems like we have a plan here. How does that work? You're not, it's supposed to be rigid. Pay no not. attention. Well, it's, it's supposed to be semi-rigid, but it just doesn't work. It's They got that wiggly jello physics going on. Well, it's it's not actually like a proper soft body. It's just a like line that can extend and contract. Except it doesn't really do it in any sort of predictable way. way. Oh, hey, it's the year of green. A little bit late, but sure. It's oh, my, this reminds me of a fucking game called Line Rider. Yes, yeah, but... Yeah. I love that. Oh, so this is the Luigi card. Oh, but not the Waluigi card. Sorry, no wa. Uh. Wa is the best. Come on. You cannot beat Wa. No, no not, with, not with a wheel that spawns on the wrong side of the vehicle. <laughs> Something went wrong there. I'm not sure what, but... Everything went wrong. <laughs> wow. Wow, Luigi. Well, if you... No, that's a Wario. <laughs> that's a Wario. Is that what they yell when you win at Wario Pretty or something? Yes. Okay. Just checking. I have never played it. Yeah. Me. Me. <laughs> so sad. What's with that depressed noise all of a sudden? <laughs> I've never played it. <laughs> so sad. The saddest day of my life. Wow. <laughs> Well, it kind of works. <laughs> Technically. 
Yes. It gets to where it has to go. Which <laughs> it's, is... <laughs> it's a pretty great coconut dispenser, I suppose. <laughs> if you <laughs> want coconuts everywhere, we have the perfect Wario. vehicle for you. <laughs> Wario! Oh, well, I managed to make a functioning tank with uh, 10 wheels and then it just it does a job. It takes forever in uh, cliffs and if you crash the wheels, it's game run. over. Run! Run, coconuts, run! Let's see if that work out at all. Oh, shoot! <clears throat> What is this, some dude trying to eat? Yeah. I figure I'll just feed this dude the coconuts and he can walk over there. Just make, like, a uh, Pac-Man. Pac-Mobile. No, it is a Pac-Man. Nice. <laughs> Pac-Man! To the rescue. <laughs> Back you manual. are aware that that's gonna spin the... Oh wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah. The wheels are really weird in this game, wow. I like that the one wheel is just pushing from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can do it! Oh no! <laughs> Somehow wow. the wheels have managed to change... Oh no, he's eating the wheel! <laughs> Don't do that. So the wheels have wheel on their own or something? I say. <laughs> and the wheel reached the crusher before the car did. <laughs> well. I say you should just make the fastest thing possible. So a wheel, pretty much? Make, make yeah. a Formula One car. Make the biggest wheel <laughs> The thing is, see what happens. Maximum each, wheel. Each wheel has the same command given to it, but it sort of just <laughs> has its uh, just performs regardless of if it's connected to something or not. Until so you need get some weird stuff happening. Please Wonder what on. happens when you just do a dozen of wheels. All you need is a wheel. Wait a second. This could be genius. <laughs> Just pull the whole thing down. Drag the whole fucking coconut plant along. What is this nonsense? Alright, two wheels. I, it seems like I got a bit stuck. The idea is almost good. <laughs> almost good. <laughs> almost. What we generally call a bad idea. Kinda. You know, if only you could phase through solid materials, then everything would be wonderful. Then the coconuts would just fall too. Wheel! Just make a, a container from which the coconuts cannot go out with some... But then they can't go in. Yeah, no, if you, you know, like a fly trap or something. Just You're thinking of adding some sort of, like, lid on it, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to work out for you. It's nah, okay. it's going to work out. Oh. I can, it's it's going to get work. stuck inside the um, container, probably. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, the lid worked for a bit, but the problem is that it's not long enough, so it just gets stuck inside instead. <laughs> <laughs> one wheel is perfect. It's a brilliant idea, I just need to get the coconuts. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Can't you use a wheel for the hinge and well not a wheel, but a circle for the hinge instead of a shock? <laughs> Man. Well, you can't this thing, and the hinge isn't really a hinge, it's oh. just what if you do use a, a wheel, though? A wheel, though, to keep the lid shut. How? Uh, like, because you'll just have something pushing on it. Through complete and utter magic, that's how. No, it would work. 
if, if they would just listen to me. If it would work, it would work great. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Listen to me, man. Listen. Just listen. Like, can you attach a, a thing to the center of a wheel and just have it spin around? It seems to depend. I was about to say, I've gotten slightly different results every yeah, time. Yes, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The wheels have a mind a wheel, of their a wheel, own. Yeah, I was really. about to say, a wheel of their own. A wheel of their own, yes. Ooh. Like, basically, if you attached a, a rectangle directly <laughs> to the center of a wheel, <laughs> then you could spin... <laughs> What a sad failure. <laughs> you can spin the wheel around to the lid around as you please. Oh, man. Spin as you please. It is a new amazing game from Platinum. Need more top spin. Spin as you please. The I story. like the idea of there being a cleanup crew that needs to dispose of all the vehicles. All of this garbage. <sighs> Yeah. Well, don't need to worry about accidentally <laughs> jumping over the cliffs, at least. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, nothing wrong with no. this. Oh, oh dear, no! I lost the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and well, that, that was a yeah. success, though. <laughs> I bet it's too big. <laughs> what are those other games? Uh, It's a particle engine play around thing and something else. Things of absolutely no interest. It's not this game. Yep, pretty much. The coconut house. Oh, no. You seem to really like this general concept. Yeah. Just add a bit of wheels. See what happens. That didn't work out. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Make the bottom more flexible. Like cut it in half and put a shock in the middle. <coughs> yes, that sounds like a great idea. It won't fall apart at all. Let's just make that one big shock. That sounds like a brilliant idea. But I'm pretty sure the shocks <laughs> on the chair. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. they... oh, advanced design. Yes. <laughs> you see what's happening? How the the coconuts are launching off, though. It's farm thing. Yeah, you really want to try out the design. Yeah. Hell yeah! Well, I can I can just give you the link. Actually, I gave you the link. Yeah, I was playing it earlier. But I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I don't feel like achieving the idea that I'm presenting because I know that it will actually take effort. Yeah. I have more important things to worry about. Yeah, here we go. No. No, no. Oh no, it escaped. It's a tadpole. <laughs> Rumpethol. <laughs> Problem is that I can't keep going in that direction because the, now this blocks me. I need to. There we go. Turn it over on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> does Hitbox Chat have censoring? Apparently not. not. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> think of the children! Never think of the children. Oh wait, we are all like... 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all of some of us, I was about to say. All of ours as friends are old. Except, you know... <laughs> Dota, I was still in high school. Except Dota, yes. <laughs> Everyone Psy else Alpha, is like... who hasn't even turned 19 yet, I think. Ooh. Did he turn 19? Maybe he did. Maybe. Perfect. I haven't seen him around for a while. 
Apa? Bla, bla. Hang on. Can I refresh the user list? I don't even know who is in the thing. Some people. Psi Alpha, I think. Might be 19. Maybe. Maybe. Still gone by hard liquor in Sweden. <laughs> we can Don't go to bars. Still gone by hard liquor in Estonia either. Oh well. Well, you Still know. <clears throat> technically, okay. legally, of course. There we go. Breeder? Young? What? Greeter is like 97. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know. Close there we go. It. Railway cannon completes. All oh, over. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It oh. won't it is, actually, is it? but it will drive off on its own. I need to remove that lowest one, yes. I think. There we go. Well, what is this? Too big to fail. <coughs> this is this is the Paris gun, can't you tell? <laughs> it's slowly moving backwards for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> No, Elkery, you don't want to be 9 again. Being 9 was terrible. You just didn't yep. realize that. It was. It just did not realize that it was terrible. Even 19 was terrible. Uh, 19 was pretty okay. Uh, it was pretty lame for me. More or less. That's because you were lame. Oh. Meanwhile, I was cool as hell. The last time ever you were cool, yes? Oh, damn! Shot fired! <laughs> yeah, I was kinda lame at 19. Cannot argue. I wanna be like 25 again. That was a nice enough time. Man, I was the weird creepy dude in high school. It was great. <laughs> As opposed to now? Yeah. <laughs> Like, then everyone was terrified of me because they thought that I would be a school shooter or something. These days, people are just <laughs> terrified of me because I'm 6 foot 3, 225 nice. pounds. <clears throat> nice. That creepy fucker who's gonna shoot everyone. Oh, man. <laughs> I even had the black leather trench coat. And man, I love that thing. Nice. It was the best jacket I've ever had. Man. Sounds great. But then you turned into a regular guy. Yeah, pretty much. Or, well, not really, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Technically <laughs> speaking, I'm far from normal. <laughs> Swedish society is not a place for me. Yeah. You should move over here. We're yeah. gonna have all the fun. I doubt it. You should yeah, have. you shouldn't doubt it. I don't think those wheels are gonna work. <laughs> They That's are it. they are not there to work, damn it. They're ornamentation. Also if you can somehow I, keep your legs. I am building a robot man's. You should totally move here. As long as you can keep making some Swedish dosh. Okay, Swedish dosh. I'm because barely making Swedish regular dosh money. in the first place, I was about to say. If you if you have a normal so what enough is coconut gun them? Gundam. Gundam. <laughs> Granada Gundam. Specialized yeah, in like, I guess. A more or less normal amount of Swedish dosh will Rip. totally be enough to live here in a nice manner. Fuck it. A bit this top design heavy. This sucks! <clears throat> it's just slightly top heavy, damn it. What we need to do is enclose the wheels. Like so. Then we need to do this. Man! Hey, Nip, they're gonna open the stands at an expo. 
I see. We're gonna sell whatever you can make for really cheap. Like drugs? No. Wheel, where it, are you going? Textiles. <laughs> it's like Breaking Bad all over again. Actually, we're gonna sell dice bags. I see. You have a plan, it seems. Yep, we're gonna get uh, clothes from Goodwill that cost like a dollar and make dice bags out of that. And they're gonna sell them for 600 them. bucks! No. Oh, okay. But yeah, buying stuff, buying clothes from Goodwill and using cloth from that is cheaper than just buying raw textiles. Yep. Don't you now know how capitalism works? You need to make billions of profits! It's like my father's yeah. friend who used to basically, instead of sending in his jackets to the cleaners, he'd just sell them to a Goodwill or equivalent and then he'd go buy it. Because they usually actually send them to the cleaners first so that they would look more attractive. Yeah. And buying it actually costs less than going to the cleaners. Yeah. What he just kept selling and rebuying his own jackets to save money because it was a bit of a dick like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna open a cleaners that does that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you, you might have to wait like way longer, but it's gonna be super cheap. Like five bucks. And if you're lucky, they might actually come to you, causing yeah. an endless cascade of money and people just waiting forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect pyramid scheme. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> I hope just, you know, the cops are not listening to this wonderful idea. <laughs> We're wondering, like, ideas on what we should sell alongside the dice bags, though. Hard drugs. Uh, that was yeah. our first idea. But it turns out those are illegal. What? I thought you lived in a free country. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Jeez. I was thinking more along the lines of like dice. What? Well, good luck making good dice. I was about yeah. to say. No, no. You buy, dice? you buy shitty dice for cheap and then make it seem like they're good. <laughs> By putting them in a good bag? Yes. Basically, yeah, how brand, exactly. basically how brand clothing works, I was about to say. Nice. Can you... Yeah, we'll put our brand on it. Yeah. yeah. You should you should make some dice out of human bones. That would be lovely. Baggy <laughs> gripple. Yeah. <laughs> Body bags. Body bags. bags. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> that makes it seem like they're bags for your buddy. Something. Yeah, they are. You get them as a gift. Yeah. And inside them are caltrops. Then you throw the bag to him and go, hey, catch! And he catches it and he closes his hands around it and he, ah! And then you run away. It's yes, the best product the ever. Where can you buy aglets in bulk? Well, technically speaking, you form your own aglets on the. What? An aglet is the thing at the end of a shoe yeah. case. You can't buy aglets by themselves. They're just a molten plastic piece that is facing mm. around the end of a cut shoelace. I guess you could, like, s pull off the plastic? But I'm not entirely sure what you would do with a slightly translucent or opaque colored piece of plastic that is meant to be at the end of a string. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you bought aglets and attached them. <laughs> but how I'm would the, you... I'm not the one making these. <laughs> now I just imagine a poor Chinese woman sitting <laughs> with just tens upon hundreds upon millions <laughs> of shoelaces just laid out and she takes a shoelace and he just scrunches up and rolls up the end and then she takes its tiny little eye and she tries to squeeze it. God damn it, it frayed. Okay, time to re-roll it. There we go. Yeah, got one on there and then the other end. <laughs> See, that's that's why you can price it higher. The aglets are attached by hand. Hand aglated shoelaces. The worst and thing is that I bet my ass that if you actually put an ad out for that somewhere in the US, you would probably sell 
Because people could, would go, man, hand aggleted. I bet all my current show is as a factor aggleted. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would be correct in that assumption, yes. Then again, like, then again <laughs> like 80% of people don't know what an aglet is, so they'll go, wow, that sounds really cool. <laughs> With natural casing. <laughs> yes. Big pig intestines. You can make so much money out of this idea. Chief is literally taking notes right now. Free so. trade aglets. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, you would have to source <coughs> source the plastic from a free trade company, but... Are there actual regulations for calling something free trade? Well, there yes. Be. Like... <laughs> That's the entire point. Money. The entire point. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to make a diamond now. You can get it through a free trade. Like. <laughs> oh, it's. Is it free trade or fair trade? Oh, I was about to say, free trade is what the U.S. is imposing on the European Union in order for you to stop having to pay import taxes. Uh. <coughs> and free trade agreements. That is some scummy ass shit. Islets. Also known as grommets. Grommets. Sorry. Grommet. Well, there we go. That worked. 12 seconds, 15 out of 15, with one of the simplest basic shapes in the universe. Yup. May daglets can be fashioned out of adhesive tape, wax, resin, glue, thread, heat shrink, or metal tubing. Well, Human then. skin. I'll just open my own fair trade organization that only gives fair trade certification to me. And the qualifications are non-existent. Body trade, and it's just two dudes yeah. hugging each other. <laughs> and then in, within parentheses, it's just below. No homo. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no impediment to that. Well, except for the fact that you won't really have much strike through with a fair trade agreement of your own. Well, it's just a, it's just a sticker. Not to mention that the fair trade mafia will come by your house with baseball bats and beat your shit up. That's the thing, though. There is no fair trade mafia. There is. There should be. There fair is. trade mafia? What did I miss? They have lawyers of their own for crying out loud. Yeah, but the lawyers are all attached to these single, you know, certification organizations. You're trying no, seriously, to, you're trying what did to I miss? El elbow in on their territory, man. I suppose. We're gonna make so lots of dosh. That's what you missed. Lots and lots of money. That's made it gives me a good idea. Earwax aglets. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's no. the end of this stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> Screw this. Thanks for watching, everyone. I bet you can get earwax for really cheap. <laughs> you bet.